Hello and welcome to Dating Delusions. I hope everyone's having another fantastic day on today's episode. And we're going to look at man repellent. My friends, definitely stay to the end. Today's profile is absolutely outrageous. She's going to have a comic count. Let's get to the nonsense. If you're a single dude, over 35, good looking, single, why are you... This lady's definitely drunk. Also, she said single. If you're really single, dude, meaning this guy. You see him walking in the room? Yeah, he's six foot five. The same thing over and over again with the ladies in here. Into the danger zone. They aren't getting matched with the men they want because, ma'am, you look all washed up already. This lady looks like she's 45 to me, but I don't know. Maybe she's younger than that, but she's going to complain about her day options. There are plenty of men out there single right now looking for relationships. The problem is when you're talking about players and fuck boys, which she's going to get into in a second, she's talking about the top men. A man just can't be a fuck boy or a player just because he wants to. She continues. Single. Why have you not settled down? Why are you still living the fuck boy life? Why are you always looking for better? Why do you keep doing drunk TikToks, ma'am? <laughs> you are going to be old and gray and have no family if he just the man shaming look chad and th this is just his pure alpha widow some dude in her past pumped and dumped her she wants that guy she wants the man she's highly attracted to who's got the money and the, the swagger why didn't he settle down with me and because he just wasn't that into you i mean one of the issues ma'am is you're this that's a huge bitch so guys will smash what you think doesn't matter when it comes to us. Ladies who want relationships and they want to get married, they have to, you have to look in the mirror, right? If you're wifeable, you'll get wifed up. You see the women who get married. What is the difference between them and you? Often it's fitness. It just is. Tenues. Keep looking for somebody better. <laughs> yeah. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. You're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Loves you, sell the fuck down. Let the hate flow through you. you. Gotta love it. She thinks that she's gonna man shame the man of her dreams into being with her. If you're on perfume talk, you probably see some people talking about perfumes that will make. Now I get it. This isn't necessarily dating related, but it was hilarious. I put in man repellent and got this out. This is just hilarious. So man repellent perfume. She's gonna uh, educate us what uh, man repellent perfumes are. She continues. Thank you irresistible to men or perfumes that men would definitely give you compliments about things like that this is so funny ma'am every man likes some sort of different fragrance as well i personally like fruity scents but i know lots of dudes who are in really into vanilla i know guys who are into flowery scents really some dudes aren't into any perfumes this is so man specific she's talking about some specific dude she continues well personally i have zero interest in attracting male attention i just make tiktoks for for only female attention got it ma'am my man is a 10 we've been together for Ooh, yeah um i'm gonna have to go ahead and sort of disagree with you there but then ma'am why are you on tiktok making all these videos 10 years over 20 years, uh, I'm just not interested in that. So if I'm on about, the last thing that I want is some rando dude. Some rando, God, you know, this is too funny. I'll take a step back. Can you imagine if every man acted like the way you do about male attention? Some rando woman talked to me and it was such a big deal. Don't raise your voice at me, dude. I have daddy issues and I don't like men. I don't trust them. Listen. I have PTSD. Do not just be nice and take a compliment. I, it must be wonderful being a lady, just having so many men giving her, them attention all the time. They just get angry about it now. That makes me angry. Chicken news. Buzzing around me, trying to smell my hair and hitting on. Trying to smell your hair. Who are these people? Put on the Gentlemen, have you ever tried to smell a lady's hair? Really? I, I just don't know dudes who do this crap. Ten news me things like that so this one is for the ladies that will appreciate some suggestions for man repellent perfume why would you wear perfume then 
<laughs> God. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Don't wear any perfume. My God. It really is. I, th these ladies who are just so strong and independent and only need one very, th you know, they're going to be glad there's dudes around when something goes down. You, you gotta love it too. As soon as something bad happens to like, they're going to find the nearest dude. Oh, can you help me load my groceries? I bet you don't care when a dude needs to help you with your groceries or help you load something heavy into your car. But all oh, these rando dudes, man, I'm going to send you on your damn way. That's why you would buy a dog and die alone. Can you? Now, this is funny. This lady thinks this uh, outfit is going to repel men. It's a, literally a tube top with a skirt on. I mean, she is, I, I mean, obviously this. The bitch is crazy. <laughs> but ma'am, you're showing your boobs. A dude walking up to a lady and smelling her hair or a dude just looking at you. My God, again, is this this big? With Are you seriously in 2024? You can't even look over at a lady and go, wow, she's attractive. Or a dude saying, hey, you look nice. And of course, they only mean dudes they, they aren't attracted to. They have no problem with he hits on them. And you're gonna say, how do you know, DD? Well, because I know several Giga Chad dudes who hit on ladies all the time and they don't care. I promise they actually are have no problem with it. We continue. And then hate my outfits. They're so mad that I like, I'm not like hot, like how I was in Uncut Gems. I hear that all. This is the Hollywood actress talking about this lady. Ma'am, you're an attractive lady. Of course, men, you, doesn't matter what you're gonna wear. Dudes are gonna be into it. That's what I'm saying. Men are so much more simple than ladies. You could have just finish painting your whole house and be in the rattiest clothes ever. If you're attractive lady, a dude might find that attractive. We, I get it, ladies, you're different and you what you're into is different. That's where you guys just don't understand men at all. You don't understand testosterone. They, I, really, I wish they could walk a second in our shoes, actually having testosterone and having that you know animalistic instinct to, to find a lady. And I'm not excusing any negative behavior, ladies. I'm just saying that, but really, a man just complimenting you or a man walking up to you one time. Again, a guy harassing you is a whole totally different thing. But this whole idea of I need to repel men, it's just So I was wearing this necklace at work. I, I always am. And uh, today, uh, let's count them up. That's a red flag right there, Bev. That's a red flag right there, Bev. The level of privilege these ladies walk around with. A, a, a dude just looking their way is some sort of invasion of privacy. Again, looking at someone or talking to them for one second. A man came up to me and uh, and he was like complimenting my hair. He's like, that's so cool. That's, that's, that's funny too. I mean, obviously he's lesbian and so dude hits on her anyway. Personally find this attractive whatsoever. And most of you don't either follow my channel. But that's what I say. There's different strokes, different folks. So I'm dudes are gonna be into this kind of look, this punk look, uh, certainly not me again. Like here's a guy just co very nicely complimenting her. She continues. So badass, compliment, complimenting like my earrings, which I mean, they are cool. Um, and, uh, and he was just, you know, being- This dude has really poor taste. Let's just be honest. <laughs> Continues. All nice and stuff. I'm autistic. I can't tell when somebody's flirting, but um, so maybe he was, maybe not. Um, but then he's like, well, ladies, if a man walks up to you and starts complimenting your jewelry and your look and your hair, of course, he's hitting on you. I mean, duh. Like he saw my necklace. And he's like, oh, what is that? And he's like, is that two like female symbols? And I'm like, yeah, he's like, oh, put it in the comments. You. I think she's probably even lying about this. You told some of the biggest lies that I've ever heard of in my whole life. Gotcha. And he was just silent. And I'm like, is this a man repellent? Because, yeah. Ladies really do get off on shooting down men. It must be just a wonderful feeling telling men off, telling them we're just so bad. I, I really... <laughs> It makes me frustrated. The world would shut down without men around. All this work, they, they've got to be kidding me. All these things they don't have to do that men deal with. We die younger than them. There's just no appreciation at all. They could never live their comfortable Western lifestyles without men doing all this work, all the infrastructure and digging for oil and all the other things. I mean, I get on and on about the things we do. Continue. 
All right, as I mentioned, today's profile, this is gold. It's one of the worst we've ever had. She is so full of herself. And I hope you get a ton of laughs. I have a bunch of memes. Here we go. That's right. We're going to do a comic count, of course, on this garbage. So uh, put it in now if you want, because it's just buckle in for all these commas she's going to have on her stupid profile. This lady's 43. She's got dumb pronouns. She, this is the picture she decided to throw up on the Internet. I got a whole freezer full of popsicles. Mm. She's a holistic esthetician. You know it's going to be good about me. Outspoken. How are you? I would change the tone. Witchy Christian. See? I'm cool. Oh, my God. Motherly firewoman. Independent, fierce, and soft. That will move. But mistaken. Ma'am, who are you writing this for? What man in the world would care that you're a witchy Christian? Also, why do we need to deal with you being so outspoken? You can, look, you can say what you want, really. You can be what you want, but men aren't going to necessarily care about that you're so outspoken. And a motherly firewoman, ma'am, what are you talking, an independent? If you're so independent, then be alone. Freckled and tattooed. <laughs> That's, I could do count the red flags as well. Red flag, stop. Returning to a certain place in 2024. I'm incredibly warm, kind, generous, and just very sweet. Because I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and doggone it, people like me. How do we know any of this, ma'am? What do you mean you're generous? I'm an open book. I'm mad, I have to go to work, I have to earn a living. I'd rather have a private income and get laid well and often. <laughs> okay. Sometimes you probably should close that book, ma'am. No need to hide things, all right? You need to be confident. Because I look good. You I look smell good. good. I yes. feel good. And you sing good. And make love good. Oh. All right, she's just getting started, though. She continues. No fake ego. I love to travel. Okay, I'm sure you do. She means you want to meet a rich guy. I'm high energy, but laid back. <laughs> I tell you that bitch crazy. I'm, she's just everything. She's everywhere, everything, everybody. I love all things natural, vintage and patina. I'm, <laughs> hold on. Oh my God, who the hell cares? <laughs> Red alert. Great, ma'am. What man cares about you being vintage? I'm Scandinavian Italian. Okay? Be patient. Also be mature. Strong preference for critical thinkers and healing masculinity. What the hell is the world coming to? What the hell is healing masculinity? God, did you just want a masculine man to just say, I want a masculine man? It doesn't have to be healed. He doesn't have to be this or that. It's not toxic. They just can't be normal. Ma'am, you're just an average chick. You're a damn beautician. And he says, no, I'm so important. No, you're not. The key to my heart is being older than me. Having old school morals. Being a stand-up man that doesn't run the slightest bit of trouble. Maybe smells like campfire. <laughs> 448 episodes. We finally had someone who wants a dude who smells like campfire. This Rugged, you know where she's going all this. Rugged, super soft guy who wants a witchy Christian. Well, you've got to be kidding me, ma'am. People would describe me as spunky, energetic, patient, direct, sensual, healing, and incredibly determined. I'm literally perfect. Who talks about themselves this way? I, I told you this one's insane. She finishes up with, I want someone who knows what they want is emotionally and mentally stable. But ma'am, you're not emotionally and mentally stable. You can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious. You, by definition, you're saying you're a witchy Christian. That's not stable. A grown ass man doesn't mind a quirky, silly, wild woman. So you be grown ass, you be mentally stable. I'm gonna be crazy and enjoys good restaurants. Ma'am, we know you want. Power. 
Not a hint of a fake in his style Got the patience of centuries turning And a mind that's been sharp all the while Forty-five and steady as a mountain Masculine, bold, yet refined Smells like campfire and cedar at twilight A man of the rarest kind <laughs> I just need a hot dude who smells like campfire. I mean, I, that is one of the dumbest profiles ever. The comma counts 35. I, if you got that, you're this. You're a winner! And ma'am, I must send you on your damn way. Thanks for watching another episode of Dating Delusions. I really do appreciate all our subscribers and supporters. Thank you so much for joining the channel. Leave the content, give it a like. If you're not subscribed yet, go and subscribe now. It's free to really helps me out. And I will see you on the next episode. Have a great day. Peace.